The food and belongings of students were littered under the collapsed roof a day after the incident. The facility, which has developed cracks on the walls, has served as the school's dining hall for nearly 20 years. Over 400 students were at the dining hall for dinner when the incident happened on Monday. Some of the students are responding to treatment at the Edra Government Hospital after 28 were discharged. There were various degrees of injuries. Um, as of yesterday, there were uh, five who were severely injured. Um, two had, um, uh, one had a major um, a a fracture of the tibia and fibula. And all the others also had um, some deep lacerations of the scalp. Most of the cases, aside these five, were minor. Uh, ranging from issues of bruises to musculoskeletal pain to rib pains and also back pains. So we've stabilized all of them. They've been on analgesia and other medications to help allay, allay their, their pain. So we've been able to discharge 28 of them this morning. Uh, we've taken x-rays for almost all of them, hoping that we'll review the x-rays this afternoon and also further discharge uh, the rest that are there. We may have to refer one case, and that's the case of the right closed tibia and fibula fracture. The incident has not affected academic activities at the school. Food is now being served under trees, as that remains an option for school authorities following the incident. Director General of the National Disaster Management Organization, Nana Ajman Prempe, visited the school and spoke about some interventions. It has happened, so we are here. We are going to put our heads together with the assembly and see how uh, temporarily we can help the school to go on with their normal activities of cooking for the kids because they still have to be in school. And then together we will also talk to the Ministry of Education and get fun to see how in the long term they can get some dormitory because what was here was not the best. If you look at the structure and other things, we even thank the Almighty God because looking at what has happened, we could have recorded some deaths or whatever, but we thank the Almighty God that uh, some of the students are injured, but I think it is about one or two that are serious. They are going to refer them to other hospital. Government is also ready to support the kids and the parents as far as the hospital bills are concerned. He warns that a similar disaster should be expected as the rains have set in. That this year, from look of things, coupled with climate change adaptation and other things, there's going to be a lot of rains. So we must go back to the culture of maintenance, look at some of the things in our house, which we see that with a little rain, it can bring problems. And this time the rains are going to come with storms. So we must be very careful with whatever we are doing. But we should be assured that very soon we're going to experience a lot, much, much, much rains. Municipal Chief Executive for Edura Sechidumase says the Assembly will work with relevant authorities to provide a permanent facility for the school. So... Uh, we are going to uh, have a structure of a kind where they can cook. And then for the eating place, now it could be outside. But when it is uh, raining, we advise that they get into the classrooms as we intensify our um, efforts to get them a permanent place. The incident also affected a portion of a newly built classroom block. This is what has been left of the collapsed makeshift dining hall of the Ejuraman Anglican Senior High School. Authorities say they are taking steps to immediately provide a permanent structure for the school. Hafiz Tijani, City News, Edra, Ashanti Region.